In tomorrow's voting session after news that Rudy Giuliani tested positive for COVID-19. You might recall Giuliani visited Lansing last Wednesday for this lengthy committee hearing investigating alleged election irregularities. He did not wear a mask, and Speaker Lee Chatfield says a few representatives have asked for time off to get tested before returning to session. And that meeting put Michigan in the spotlight, of course, for a few reasons, something that not everyone, especially some lawmakers, are happy about. Our Julie Dunmire talked to one of the representatives who was there that day. No one usually pays attention to this level to the Michigan legislature. And state representative Darren Camillary says the fact that people are paying attention across the country isn't a good thing. That means that we're, we are doing such a bad job as a legislature that people are making fun of it across the country. The House Oversight Committee meeting parodied on Saturday Night Live was supposed to address alleged voter fraud. But Camillary says all they heard was unproven claims. There was no reason to have this hearing. Every single piece of quote unquote evidence that they brought before our committee has been disproven. It is all false. On top of that, Camillary says it's now become a health risk. Rudy Giuliani testing positive for COVID over the weekend. Camillary got tested and got negative results, but says he wasn't required to, which is concerning. Uh, it is shameful that we are not taking this more seriously and not requiring that every member in that committee room go get tested and uh, have a negative test before they return back to work. For Camillary, not having COVID is about the only good thing to come out of this hearing. I've gotten over 20 death threats myself uh, through email and voicemail. The threats go beyond just him. State Representative Cynthia Johnson getting this voicemail. Bully witnesses on the stand should be swinging from a rope, you Democrat. Camillary says he's disappointed it's come to this. And it's really sad and pathetic that this is what our democracy has boiled down to. In Grand Rapids, Julie Dunmeyer, Fox 17 News. And we did try to reach out to a few other lawmakers who were there. Representative Steve Johnson declined to interview today, and we have not gotten responses from Representative Matt Hall, Representative Cynthia Johnson, or Speaker Chatfield's office. Meantime, the Biden transition team